YouTube. A while back, we looked at uh, signing up for a Red Hat developer subscription. And we were told that all we had to do was renew our subscription once it expires. Um, it looks like it's a little bit more difficult than that. I've got several renewal messages from them. So I'm going to try to reactivate it again. I'm going to log in. Ah, what's this? They need more information. I have read. I agree. Receive email. No. Submit. All right. So now I'm logged in. And they have changed things, so I gotta find where I need to go. I'm looking for subscriptions. There it is, subscriptions. Red Hat Beta. I'm gonna hit renew. Okay, and here's where I messed up several times. I hit submit here, and that gets you in an endless loop of emails. And also on my developer subscription, I hit renew. Same thing, I went down here and hit submit. But you have to look here, this is a hyperlink for the developer subscription, so I'm going to click there. And here is some things. Let's see what we got to do here. It says you can't renew this subscription, but you can re-register. Okay, let's try that. You can just register again. Once you're well, re-register and get a new subscription. You must wait until your current one. Okay, mine has expired, so I'm trying to get a new one. Open and you should be online and I'm going to What? This makes no sense. Access. Let's try this. This is where I just left. Okay, simple content. I didn't notice this before. Let's let's turn on simple content whatever. And I have two active subscriptions. Okay, so clicking that link took me to a renewal screen so now I have two subscriptions that have renewed okay let's see if my systems are still there my systems are there but they are in red Let me start up one of them. Let me start up all of them. Uh, two is running. And I'm going to have to SSH because it's so small. So give me a second here. I'm going to get out of there.
I want to SSH to the VM server 2. And I want to I'm going to see if I can run a make cache command. Yeah, it says no enabled suppositories, repositories. And there was something on that other page that I saw down at the bottom. Okay, you need to. You need to remove and reattach your license. Man. So let's copy all this. Let's go over to my VM. And they're all pseudo, so I should be able to just paste this in. Uh, it wants my Red Hat subscription. Uh, let me go look that up. Okay. I've got my username and password, so let's do that again. Let's go... Because I keep losing. There it is right there. I want to copy all that in. Okay. I'm going to copy all that in. Let it run. Okay. It's asking. Okay, I'm gonna have to do them one at a time. I can't just cut and paste them all, okay. So I'm gonna do the first one. All right, I'm going to unregister. And I'm just cutting and paste them line at a time. Because one of them is asking for my username. And password. Copy that. Clean. Now I'm going to register again, and this is registering with the new subscription. All right. Um, password is somewhere over here. I'll do a control copy, paste. All right, it's registered with that ID and it's registered with the host name. Okay, so I guess you have to do these steps on all the servers that you have. And I will do that. I will come out of two. And I will go to server three. What? And I will do the same thing. I will remove subscription manager. Ah, I'm not, uh, that server is a little different, so I have to SU to root. Uh, 
paste that in again. I don't need the pseudo though. It looks like it doesn't matter. Um, it looks like when it expired, it took out the subscription, but I'm going to follow their commands anyway. All right, system unregistered. Clean. Register again. Username. Password over here again. I need to copy it. Come on here and paste it. All right, and then going to refresh. I'm going to attach auto. Okay, whatever, whatever. All right, and I have one more system. And that's server one. Permission denied. That server is also different. I have to go in its root. These are all test boxes, so I do different things on them. So I want to do the remove, the unregister, and the clean all at the same time. All right, now I need to re-register. I'm sorry, I need to let it, let it do that clean. Then I need to re-register. And passwords over here somewhere. It's right there, so I'm going to copy it and paste it in. It's there. And I'm going to do the clean or refresh. <laughs> and it looks like it doesn't do the attach at the bottom because it's uh, the developer version. So if I go back over here, where is the screen? There it is over there. Let me close that first. Okay, that's closed. So if I do this and I hit refresh, all right, it's got the question mark, which means it recognizes that they're registered now so i have to wait a few hours and it'll update now i'm going to paste in um where i saw that link uh once you clicked on that link that somehow recreated your subscriptions and i'll take my mouse and i'll point to it and everything but i gotta go back and find it and those are the hoops that you have to jump through to renew your developer subscription.
Um, I guess if you don't want to go, all, go through all that hassle, you can go ahead and buy a subscription that doesn't require that, where you just click the button. Um, otherwise, you can try some other Linux like Alma Linux or Rocky Linux. Anyway, hope this helped. Like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.